Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine Collective Twin Flame Energies and if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame Coaching, please check the, de check the description box below and we can jump in with the first card, number 21, Strategy. Yeah, and here is my st uh, strategy. I will just go in and follow my heart when, wherever it takes me. Yeah, it can be a little bit scary, but I'll do it anyway. I'm and I'm really claiming myself in this place. I see you as who you really are. I see the truth of who you are. I know how deeply loving and passionate you are. I handle disagreements with grace and wisdom and go with the flow within my relationship with my divine partner. I don't hold anger or resentment. I simply surrender negativity to the divine. If you feel guided to reach out to me, really follow your own inner guidance here. But if you are guided to do so, then by all means, do so. Because I really want to know that I'm loved I and that I can still come to you and that you're going to love me. That you're still here no matter what happened between us. I need reassurance that you still love and accept me unconditionally. I want to feel that support. So there's a change in events coming. Someone's going to fall in love. Heightened perception. Listen to your own intuition and follow through with any ideas that arise from it. All emotions are brought down to the earthly state and manifested in the physical. Divine emotions are coming forth here. Connecting with the element earth. A connection between the physical and the spiritual. As above, so below, the sacred and the profane. From the perspective of absolute authentic freedom, we must let go of prejudice and restrictions and let our emotions flow. Follow your inner calling and step into the new, however abstract it may appear, to the rational mind. Pleiades, double mission. Channeling and uplifting humanity. Can you feel the passionate renewal that's coming in? The new vitality, the creative energy, the rebirth of the new. A new cycle of a deeper relationship with ourselves and with the divine. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. When a situation is being dedicated to, wholly to truth, peace is inevitable. So there may be an opportunity arising to reach out and let one another know how we really feel. An opportunity to deepen our connection because I understand something in a deeper way. Now, I learnt some things in this time and I really want to deepen it with you. I'm feeling a little bit of fear and insecurity about being good enough for you. Will you accept me? But, but, the, but my passion is so strong, it's overwhelming the fear. You can love me in this place by healing it in yourself the garden and the gate 
So we're moving from a place of restriction and safety and moving into a place of expansiveness and adventure. Yeah, this is a time of exploration, it's a time of expansion, it's a time of evolution, it's a time to be branching out in new directions, new areas, new places in consciousness. And that feels really great. I appreciate the unique ways my Divine Partner shows they love rather than compare with my ways. I see the beauty of their individuality and accept their love with grace. So please know that I'm doing my thing just as you're doing your thing. This is a journey of unconditional love and I'll always guide you back to loving yourself. I'll be bringing everything up to be clear, patterns, deepest beliefs. But we're meant to heal these things together. So remember what you love about me. Release bad feelings. I want to feel safe. Oh, I desire for you to unconditionally love me and feel safe in loving me because we're one. I love you deeply and unconditionally forever. Remember that truth in your heart. That's why you're here. Because you deserve to be with your one true love. And two of coins. So there is a time of making decisions, but these decisions are going to endure for the whole of eternity. So there may be a little bit of juggling opportunities as well, and finances or direction, seeking the best opportunity, becoming wiser or more, more worldly, receiving gifts, becoming... I'm becoming more aware of my childhood conditioning and habitual responses, which has given my heart freedom to follow its own truth. You and me both should not be allowing other people's expectations to distort our reality. I may seem very different to you in some ways, but on an inner level, I suit you well. Today's situation highlights the choices you need to make to create tomorrow's successes. You may have to choose between changing or not changing some aspect of your life. Listen to and talk to talk about your feelings rather than ignoring them in order to make a decision that will suit your nature and move you forward on your path. Take things one step at a time. Don't expect all your hopes to be to met right at the start. Time may be required to really discover ourselves and one another thoroughly and how we can work together well. And maintaining mutually nourishing relationships takes work. Be down to earth and honest with yourself about your feelings and inclinations. You can't hide your truth from yourself. Its message is your path to happiness. Involvement is enjoy in enjoyable activities or career interests can open up the possibility of sharing them. Be willing to give and receive the kinds of love that the moment and circumstances offer. Thoughtful and careful actions are needed to give newly planted seeds of intimacy a start towards their maturity. It may take time to see what fruits ripen from the vine of your endeavours. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So once again, there may be some family stuff coming up to be healed at the moment and it could be ancestral in origin just go within and 
bring love to whatever feelings arise in these places. Go within your heart, be present there. Don't sit in a bad feeling or numb out to it. You're moving into a deeper healing. Meditate, elevate with your heart, trust your intuition at this time. The Holy Spirit speaks through me today. The Holy Spirit's voice is as loud as your willingness to listen. So be receptive to divine messages that are coming in the forms of signs and synchronicities, but above all, the, me uh, the messages within, the messages that are coming from within your heart, from within the deepest centre of your heart. Go with that feeling, trust the messages that you're getting, because to deny them is to deny the divine. And this is a time in which it's really, really important to trust the divine, trust where the divine is leading you, trust where the divine is leading us, because it's always going to be to greater happiness, greater love and greater peace. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.